was born and reared in Uvalde, Texas. Of course, I'm being biased, but it's the best, wonderful, small city in the world. You know, in a big city, sometimes you just remain a number. But in a small town, you have a name and people know your name. Community is an extended family. When a tragedy like this befalls a community, we have to journey with each other and that, no, you're not alone in this journey. And I think for me and for so many people across the United States that were taking care of folks that were suffering from this disease, we wanted to make sure that their stories were told. This wasn't a frontline worker versus everyone else thing. This was an everyone together for everybody. And I think that despite the discord we saw in the years of the pandemic, there was also a silver lining of incredible connection between not only neighbors, but families across the country finding ways to be together even though they were apart. Not only were the families invited, but the whole community was invited to be there with them as well. And I think that is important because we tend to think that something like this would never happen in a small town or it doesn't happen to us, it happens to others. But that could have been any one of us. And having them all come together and being present and again, knowing the community is there for them. For us, our families couldn't see what we were going through. But for our patients, their families couldn't see either. Loss happened every day, even if it was quietly happening in corners of hospitals over FaceTime. I wanted to make sure that in my little corner of the world, that we could tell the stories of people. Ultimately, I think community is something that can't be forgotten, can't be dismissed, can't be taken for granted because it's so fragile. I think we have the tendency to think that we're capable of doing things on our own. This world is a world that is always willing to help. This journey is our journey because it was a community effort. There were so many moments during the pandemic that I felt helpless, but not hopeless. One of the reasons that I wanted to document, tell the stories of what happened in our ICUs was so that I never forgot, first and foremost, but so the world didn't forget. Of course, there are still challenges, but we met the moment in a way that paid respect to those we lost. And remember that there was so many more days ahead and that we can do better if we work together.